फाइव सेकेंड स्टार्ट एस इट अपीयर्स द हाई कोर्ट हैज टेकन एक्सेप्शन टू द फैक्ट डेट द एप्लीकेशन वॉज मूव वेन द सेकेंड जज वॉज एलोटेड द रोस्टर टू डील विद द एप्लीकेशन अंडर सेक्शन फोर थर्टी एट सी आर पी सी टू एप्रिशिएट द एनालिस मेड बाय द हाई कोर्ट वी हैव बेस्टोड आवर एंशियस कंसिडरेशन एंड पर यूस्ड द ऑर्डर इम्प्यून्ड एज फार एज द डिस्टिंगशन ड्रोन बाय द हाई कोर्ट पास्ड इन ए प्रेवर्स मैनर एक्सक्लूडिंग द रेलिवेंट मैटर्स एंड कंसिडरिंग द एक्स्ट्रानियस मैटर्स विच डिजर्व टू बी लेंसिनेटेड इन एक्सरसाइज ऑफ सुपरवाइजरी जुरिस्टिक्शन टू नलीफाई द सेम एंड द अदर विच इज फंडामेंटली एंड एब्सोल्यूटली सिचुएशन बेस्ड फॉर कैंसलिंग द ऑर्डर ऑफ बेल बिकॉज ऑफ वायलेशन ऑफ द टर्म्स एंड कंडीशन ऑफ द ऑर्डर ग्रांटिंग बेल एंड अदर सुपरवाइजिंग सर्कमस्टांसिस हाउ एवर द सेड सिचुएशन और सर्कमस्टांसिस डज नॉट अराइज इन द केस एट हैंड इन डेट कॉन्टेस्ट दिस कोर्ट हेल्ड डेट लॉन्ग स्टैंडिंग कन्वेंशन एंड जुडिशल डिसिप्लिन रिक्वायर्स बेल एप्लीकेशन टू बी प्लेस्ड बिफोर द लर्नड जज हु हैड पास्ड अर्लियर ऑर्डर्स ऑन ए पेरूजल ऑफ द एफोर्सड अथॉरिटीज इट इज क्लियर टू अस डेट द लर्नड जज who has declined to entertain the prayer for grant of bail if available should hear the second bail application or the successive bail applications it is in consonance with the principle of judicial decorum discipline and propriety needless to say unless such principle is adhered to there is numerous possibility of forum shopping which has no sanction in law and definitely has no sanctity these appeals have been preferred against the orders passed by the division bench of the punjab and haryana high court at chandigarh the appellants in special leave petition of 2012 are the chandigarh administration and the government medical college and hospital chandigarh the appellant has filed the special leave petition with the permission of this court who was not a party either before the single judge or before the division bench of the punjab and haryana high court leave to file special leave petition was granted in that in the event of the impugned orders of the division bench being implemented her chance of getting admission to the course of mbbs for the academic year 2014-15 under the non resident india category would be impugned the present impugned orders of the division bench came to be passed this appeal was made at the instance of the contesting respondent in both the civil appeals who was really aggrieved of a clause in the prospectus issued by the appellants which according to her was not valid according to the contesting respondent she being a canadian citizen is an nri that therefore she was entitled to seek admission to the mbbs course in the nri category quota but yet the definition of nri as specified 
in the prospectus issued by the Chandigarh administration and the government medical college Chandigarh for the academic year 2012-13 would be denied her of such status and therefore it was liable to be struck down. The contesting respondent claimed that her grandfather retired as an undersecretary in the year 1994, that when he was in the services of the state of Chandigarh, he resided in a government house from 1964 to 1983 and shifted to another government accommodation provided by the Chandigarh administration from 1983 to 1993. That third set of government accommodation was provided by the government to the father of the contesting respondent which was occupied till December 2003 and that thereafter. Her father started living in the house of her grandfather in Mohali. The contesting respondent claimed that she passed as a regular student from Mohali, that the prescription contained in paragraph 2 of the prospectus providing for eligibility and merit for NRI seats for MBBS course stipulating that the grandparents or parents of the candidates should be resident of Chandigarh for a minimum period of five years at any time since the origin of Chandigarh and should have immovable property in her name in Chandigarh for the last at least five years and a certificate to that effect issued by DC come a state officer or municipal corporation of Chandigarh. It was on that footing that a challenge came to be made by the contesting respondent in the High Court in CWP number 1423 of 2011. The learned single judge by order held that the impugned clause was totally impracticable, illegal, illogical and declared as such. However, the learned single judge went further into the question as to whether the contesting respondent can be granted admission. Stop.